What's going on there, crew? Let me know if you can see me. Let me know if you can hear me. Let's go. What's up, Don? What's up, Betty? How are you? What's up, Dale? What's up, Peggy? What's up, Nicole? Let's get a TikTok crew in the house here. All good, all good. Can see in here. It's raining there. It's raining here, too. Uh, decals, just remember me, uh, remember me, <laughs> remind me at the end, remind me at the end on the trailer thing. <laughs> uh, sneaking in there, Heather, let's go. All right, here's the deal today. Um, Time-wise, I always, I've been trying to give you guys kind of an idea time-wise, just so you know, kind of going in about how long it's going to take. I'm, I'm assuming we'll probably be looking at about 45 minutes to an hour today again. Um, what I'm going to do today, and a lot of you have been asking for, is almost kind of how I got the file set up as well. And what I mean by, what I mean by set up is one of the files I'm going to be using here today, okay, is going to be a, um, I'll show you here. Um, it's going to be similar. It's not going to be this one, but kind of somewhat similar in that I'm going to have to make adjustments to the file in order to make it small enough to go onto a water bottle. Okay. And that honestly is very difficult for some people when they're getting started as it was for me as well. So what I'm going to show you, and oh yeah, this is, I might as well just show you guys what we created yesterday. If you missed Instagram live yesterday, okay, we got the, I'm too old for this sheet design. This is a t-shirt design that we shrunk down into a water bottle design. Then we accented it with some different materials as well. The white is our flash reflective. So when the light hits it at night, same thing on the ghost. It basically just glows. And then this is the cup we created in the Instagram Live. Again, all of the white in the background is the flash reflective, flash reflective heat transfer vinyl, okay? It's pressed to the HTV Anything material. And then the glitter heat transfer vinyl is pressed to the flash reflective. So if you don't know how to do that, just check out yesterday's Instagram live and I walked you through the entire thing as far as setting up the files. We cut it, we weed it, and we do all of the pressing. And yesterday we actually pressed everything with the Cricut Easy Press. All right. So hopefully, hopefully that helped you guys out. So yesterday was heat transfer vinyl and HTV anything, where today is going to be Ad color spark adhesive vinyl all right and i'm gonna layer the adhesive vinyl but the first thing i'm gonna do is set up the actual file okay and that is normally one of the most difficult parts so let me get you guys flipped around here now TikTok, don't get dizzy on me but i'm gonna rotate you guys sideways so you can see my entire screen okay so hold on here TikTok. I'm going to flip you guys around here and rotate the camera so you can see everything that I'm doing here. And then I'm also going to bring over my iPad here so hopefully I can kind of see some of the comments on TikTok as they're coming in as well. So I can answer some of your questions as well. All right. Uh-oh, Amazon's talking to me. Now, let me flip over YouTube here. We got a Hall of Fame member. What's up, Lisa? How are you? Appreciate your support. We had another member, Diana Thomas, all-star member. Appreciate your support as well. So here's the deal, okay? The file I'm going to be using is a file that I actually made a T-shirt from. It's a file I actually made a t-shirt from last year. So it is this one right here. Okay, this booze crew design. 
and you can see the different t-shirts and a glitter and adhesive there now what part of this design when you're looking at this design right here and i want to get your guys feedback as well what part of this design would be difficult because making this let's say nine inches by ten inches is going to be super easy to weed and everything else but when you look at this design you can see there's going to be issues with this design if we have to make it three and a half inches right so what parts of this design do you think are going to be the issues and i'm going to pull it up in corel draw here and then we're going to go through it okay yeah it's pretty it's nice it's a pretty sweet design right but like Eric's saying, like Jules is saying, like a lot of you are saying now, right, is these inside areas of this TRW Ooze font. So the font that I'm using right here is the Ooze font, okay? So, and I'll, I will show you. Let me come over here, and it's a font that we have on the website. It's this one right here. So the Ooze font is a really cool font when it comes to making shirts for anything with Halloween, with drip, with stuff like that, all right? However, these small little areas are going to be a pain in the butt. Now, here's another issue that I'm going to have, and I didn't see anybody mention this, okay? But it is going to be an issue. And when I zoom in here, see kind of the the beer glasses how thin this is well when we shrink this down to let's say three and a half inches by what will it be it'll be four inches tall four and a half inches tall by three and a half inches wide this gets really small right here okay um i'm not sure the exact on the ooze font if you just type in o-o-z-e on the website you'll see it pull up but like Eric's saying, the bubbles in the foam are going to be an issue. And then the super thinness of this right here. Now, these are all things that we can fix. And how many of you would be comfortable adding a little thickness, not to the entire ghost necessarily, but just to the outside of the glass? How many of you would be comfortable? Ooze Fonts, $10. Awesome. Thank you, Pilar. How many of you would be comfortable with this area right here, right? Here's what most of you would do. And you guys let me know if I'm correct in saying this. Because there's a lot of times where I would have done this as well. To get rid of the, all of these inside areas of the ooze font, you would probably do this. You would double click on it and then you would come in and delete all of those nodes. And then you would come over here and you would delete all of those nodes. Come over here and you would delete all of those nodes. Come over here, you would delete all of those nodes. And you would basically do that for the booze and crew. Okay? And I see a lot of you saying, yes, that would be me. Okay? I'm going to show you a little bit easier way that you can do something like this. Okay? Show you a little bit. And do you want me to show you kind of from the start? like without it even being the design or do you want me to show you me editing the actual design it does take away from the look of the font i agree but the font still looks nice when doing it on a cup like this does that make sense so when you have to make it this small it would take a while and on some of the craft cutters it's going to be more difficult to weed something like that because you're going to have to weed out, I mean, you're looking at probably 20 to 30 different clicks on weeding this out. So I will show you. Let me just show you kind of, kind of from the scratch. So I'm going to get rid of booze and I'm going to get rid of crew here. So it's not going to take much longer, okay? It's not going to take much longer to do it from the start. It'll take an extra minute or two. So if I went... Um, booze and i'm going to use the ooze booze with the ooze font right i'm going to enlarge this i'm going to bring my spacing a little bit closer with it 
that looks pretty good there. And I can, again, break it apart as well and move these areas in a little bit if I want. And then underneath, I'm going to have crew. And again, let's get it to about the same as far as my width wise. I can make booze a little bit wider there. Now, the booze is going to be one color. The crew is going to be another color. Okay, um, I just to let you know, Dawn, that is a great question. And here's what I did for all of you. Tell me how awesome I am. You can just say you're awesome. All right. I got you guys hooked up. So anybody, let me just go back and show you. Anybody that's bought this design in the past or anybody that is buying it now. Okay. I actually already included the decal version of this design into this actual product today. So if you do purchase this design for $4 or you've already purchased it in the past, go to the download files and you will now see a decal version of it as well with these inside areas taken out. I, I'm, I'm way ahead of you guys. I'm way ahead of you. I got you covered. All right. But let's, again, I want you guys to learn how to do this as well. Okay. So I got the booze here. I'm just going to go ahead and let's say weld this together. Okay. And then I have the crew here. Again, I'm just going to weld this together. So now we're kind of where we were before. But instead of going in double clicking and having to draw around each one of these areas and then deleting it. Because I would have to do that probably one, probably 20 times, 30 times, okay? Check out what I'm going to do here. And some of you may have thought of this. Most of you probably didn't, but it's just a matter of doing this enough to where you kind of know all the different tools and what can make it quicker. So watch this. I'm going to use my Smart Fill. I'm going to Smart Fill all of the areas that are kind of cut out. So the insides of the S's, the O's, and the B. I'm going to highlight all of those that I just did and weld those together. And I'm just going to make them yellow for now so you can see them. Now I'm going to click on Booze. And I'm going to come up over here and I'm going to create a boundary around it. And watch what that did. It created a boundary around all of this. Kristen Briggs, All-Star member, appreciate your support. Everybody with me? So now I have that boundary and the yellow over here. Got it? Now what I'm going to do is highlight both of these, hit back minus front, change it to black, and I'm done. That's a whole lot easier than going in and editing and deleting all of those little spots, isn't it? So again, I have to do it again right here. Check it out. Smart fill. I don't need the C. I need the R. I need that part of the E. And that's it on this one. Right? So I'll weld that together. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to create a boundary. Right? Let's move both of those out of the way. I don't need this anymore. And now I'm going to highlight both of them. I'm going to do a back minus front. Change that to whatever color I want, and we are now good. That would have taken even me probably 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes to delete all of and draw around all of those little spaces to delete those notes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change this to an orange. Okay, we got our booze there. I'm going to make booze a little bit larger just inside of my kind of beer um, bottles there or my beer mugs and then I have crew and I'm going to make crew about the same width but I want booze kind of going into the crew right here okay now that's not going to look great like that so what do I need to do I'm going to take booze I'm going to come back down here to my magic boundary and I'm just going to test it and say, let's see what 0 0.06 looks like. Contour and remove shapes behind. Magic boundary. 
and it knocks all of that out. And I'm actually, that was a pretty good guess right there. I'm good with that. Same thing on the ghost here, okay? Same thing on the ghost. So let's click on my ghost. It's pretty even right there. I'm going to hit magic boundary. It knocks out part of the O right there. And then I'm just going to get rid of that little spot right there. Now, now we need to fix our beer mugs. Now, this is a little more difficult, okay? And believe me, guys, you'll be able to go back and watch all of this, okay? So don't try and follow along with me. It's going to be difficult. But here's what would happen if I just tried to thicken that area. If I came over here and just tried to thicken a little bit and hit magic boundary, it's going to do this. It's going to thicken everything, okay? But I only want this kind of beer mug to thicken a little bit. Again, just thinking about your different tools, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here to my two-point line tool, and I'm going to draw a line from there to there. And I'll turn it yellow just so you can see it. I'm going to come over to this side and do the same thing. Draw a line from there to there. Who knows what I'm doing? What do I call it a lot of times in a training when I draw a line like this? You guys always hear me call it something. I'm building what? Now, now that I built it, and I know a lot of you are typing it in. It just hasn't come through yet, but I built a dam, okay? And the dam is, it's going to stop. Look at you guys. You guys are on it. <laughs> It's going to stop my smart fill from going into different areas. And I'll give you an example. If my dam wasn't there and I did a smart fill, it's going to fill all of this, right? However, if I have a dam there, boom, there it is. I'm going to get rid of the dam that I built. And let me come over here and do the same thing. Smart fill, get rid of the dam that I built. And now I'm going to take both of these areas, okay, both of these areas, I'm going to weld them together, always just so I don't have to do it twice, okay? And I'm going to now add a little bit of a magic boundary around this. So let's just try a 0 .03 and see what that does. That actually, I feel like, might look... Pretty good. That's maybe a little bit too thick. Let's go 0 0.02. Magic boundary. And then get rid of the black. I kind of like that. So now I'm just going to click on both of them. Weld together. And now I have thicker just the beer mugs. Believe me, you're going to, I promise, if you're trying to follow along right now, you're going to be lost. When you watch the replay, you'll be able to kind of go step by step with me. Now, the bubbles, those are going to probably be too detailed, so I'll get rid of those as well. And then I might need my actual beer in there, okay, to be a little bit smaller because of my sides right here. So to do something like that, I'll just come over to the Place and Fill tab. I'm going to do an island to the inside Hit Island Fill. That's going to make that a little bit smaller to the inside there. And there we go. And I can even still drag it down a little bit if I wanted it to be taller. Or up a little bit and go there. So see the difference? For some reason, Alexa, Alexa, quiet. Started playing Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> On that, that was weird. Smaller beer, what? Yeah, we went with, no, Alexa, mute. Okay. So I feel like we're pretty good with this other than one more thing. We need our back layer here. So I'm going to click on okay the black ghost here and i'm gonna do a let's try a point one magic boundary i think that's pretty good 
I'm going to do the same thing on booze, and I'm going to do the same thing on crew. Okay? Now, I'm going to click on each of those with the shift button, weld those together, and now I have my back layer. And there's my three colors, and we're good to go. Everybody's got that. It was easy, right? You could do it without even watching the replay right now. <laughs> and then what we're going to get out of that is this right here. And again, this is the file. This is the file that is actually going to be in that um, kind of order that you have now. Okay? All right. Uh, no, um, Scott, that's a great question. No. So the original one was designed by me, okay? However, we took, what we're doing here is we are taking a t-shirt design and we're going to shrink it down, what would normally be 9 to 10 inches, shrink it down to 3.5 to 4 inches because I'll show you what, this is the original design and what it would look like on a shirt. So we want all of the detail in the booze crew on the t-shirt because that's easy to weed because it's a lot larger. But when we shrink the file down so much, those little cut areas get so small, it's even difficult for something like the graph tech to cut it good, especially if you're using any type of specialty type vinyl. All right, so let's come back over to Corel here. And we have our different cuts right here. So I'll show you how I got to the different cuts. This is where we were right there. I just go to templates and in the wizard, I hit vinyl overcut and there's my three cut separations. Um, yes, so the new design, correct Scott, I actually have, if you get this file on the website or you've purchased it in the past, I've actually put this new file for the decals into the actual downloads. So all of you guys that have it or do eventually purchase it will get it. Um, if we buy the font, can we use it for commercial use? Uh, Mama, yes you can, but when you say commercial use, you can't sell the font, you can't sell the file, but you can make a finished product shirt with the font to sell it and make money. Does that make sense? All right. So we need to go and cut a few of these things now. Okay. So what we're going to do is I am going to, and we're going to make probably, I don't know, we'll make two or three of these decals with just different materials. And then we'll put one of them on one of the water bottles and we'll give the water bottle away. So let me bring you guys over here. TikTok, we're going to flip back around now. We're going to flip back around now. And I'm also going to bring in, I'm going to bring in Instagram as well for this part. Instagram wanted to come over for the production side of it. So let me get Instagram in here. Instagram, what's up? I told you guys I would bring you over when we're making the actual cup. So Instagram, I'm not going to be able to see your comments, but you are here as well. And let me get YouTube flipped over here to our production view as well. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to cut another one of these just so you guys can see it. Because all of these materials are going to cut a little bit different. Okay? So... This is our Color Spark white flash, well, white reflective. I keep saying flash because we did heat transfer vinyl yesterday. This is our white reflective adhesive vinyl, okay? Adhesive vinyl. So, all of the reflective materials are by far my favorite. I was talking about this a, a little bit the other day, is we were talking about the difference between glow in the dark and reflective. I prefer 
personally, I prefer reflective because, and I'm just going to come over here to cut this. I prefer reflective, and the main reason I prefer the reflective is with the glow in the dark, it does kind of lose its charge over time, okay, after 15, 20 minutes, and then you kind of need to get a light on it again to make it kind of glow again, where with the reflective, you're going to, any basically light that hits it, it's going to reflect, so it looks awesome. So I'm doing a force of 19, a speed of 20, with our reflective material here using the Graftech 15 inch. Oh, you got that Instagram one right away? That's awesome. This is a 15 inch Graftech here. This is kind of the desktop version. And then the 24 inch is the main one you guys see me use at the warehouse and stuff. Um, we do have our Color Spark Reflective Glitter as well. And you could do that onto the HTV Anything that would look awesome. So I'm going to hit one. That will bring this out here. Trim that off. Flip that back. And I have a little bit of extra right there. I'm going to throw this into our scrap box giveaway. And let's go ahead and get this weeded. Now, the reflective adhesive vinyl, okay, if it is a very detailed design, I would recommend probably a reverse weed. But something like this is just that outline. That's going to be super easy. Look, can you guys see the, just the, it's cloudy outside, but the light shining in. See how it's hitting this and and making it super bright already. I can see it on YouTube. And look, if I come real close, see how it's more of a gray? You guys see that? It's more of like a whitish kind of light, light gray. But as soon as I move it back to here and the light just coming in from the sun, even though it's not sunny out, is already reflecting this. Uh, the machine I'm cutting on is the Graftech CE 6040. So the newer one that we have is the 7,040. It's the 15-inch version of the Graftech. Now, for my second cut, like I said, I'm going to mix them up. I'm going to do a few different ones. One of my favorite permanent adhesive vinyls is our ColorSpark Matte Black. And it, I, it's not my favorite because it's matte. It's M-A-T-T-E, not M-A-T-T. -T. But... I just like the matte look to it. Same thing with the matte white as well. So, let's go ahead and knock this out. And this is going to be, like I said, a three-color design. Now, with this vinyl, it's going to be not nearly as much when it comes to my pressure on it. Okay? So, I'm going to get this set up here. And I'm going to drop my pressure down a little bit. Dale, are we buffering? Uh-oh. Are we all good? Let me know if you guys, if YouTube is buffering or if you can see me okay. And those of you on Instagram and TikTok, if you come over to YouTube, if you come over to YouTube, you'll be able to see everything a little bit better. So I'm going here. I'm going to go launch, cut plot CM4. I'm going to rotate this. And then for my force, I'm going to try hoping about a 15. And hopefully the 15 won't cut through it. I was buffering, but I'm back now. So I'm just checking it as it's cutting real quick. One thing I love about the graph tech is if I do notice that it's cutting through it right away, I can pause it and actually change the cut settings right there. If it is buffering, just, um, well, if it's buffering, you probably can't hear me, but just refresh your page. Have a 24 inch rolling, sweet. We have the roll. We do. We sell the GCCs, the Graph Techs, and the Rollins, and obviously the Silhouette Cameos as well. So I can see my pressure might be a tad too much, 
but it's, I can see that it's not cutting all the way through, so it's going to be okay. Matt's matte bundle. Can you do it on the Cameo? Of course you can. You can do it on Cameo. You can, I mean, honestly, this design, I could even do on the Cricut Joy. I could do it on the Cricut Maker. I could do it on the Cricut Explorer Air. I could do it on the Cameo 1, 2, 3, or 4. So any cutter, you can do this on, 100%. And again, this is my background, which is going to be the reflective as well. And when it comes to adhesive vinyls, we have all different types of adhesive vinyls, okay? So this is like an orange rainbow holographic. We can use one of these if you want. This is our, um, we have our different sparkle holographics. We have our patterns. We have our orange glitter. This is our orange glitter here. We have our orange reflective, which is this one here. And you can see as the light comes through when it's really close. And then as the light's coming through, it's hitting that reflective. This is the black reflective. When the light comes through, it kind of hits it and kind of turns a little bit, almost more of a brown color. So I'm going to hit one here. Let's go ahead and kick this out. Trim that off. Not a huge scrap, but somebody could use that, whoever wins the scrap box next month, right? And let's see what my pressure was like. Doesn't look that bad there. I always can look at the back. If you see real thick score marks in the back, it normally means you used a little bit too much pressure. But if you can find that magic area to where it's not too much pressure, just enough, you're going to get weeding like this right here. All right, so let's get the inside of kind of my beer mug there. And this is, I think we did this perfect, guys, because this is not difficult to weed at all. Got my ghost there, inside of my R, inside of my E, and you can see how that came out. Um, do you sell the Brother Scan and Cut vinyl? No, Taylor. We have our own brand of vinyl. It's called Color Spark Vinyl. And we have a ton of specialty. We have regular permanent adhesive vinyl, but a ton of specialty vinyls, like different colors of glow in the darks and, and four, 13 different colors of opals. We have um, a ton, I think the biggest line on the internet, of color changing adhesive vinyl, temperature color changing. So if you put it in a tumbler with ice in it, it'll change from red to yellow or pink to purple and so on. And I have a ton of videos showing all of that stuff as well. So that's there as well. Now... I'm going to come over and for our next color for the orange, um, I'm going to say we do, we could do the, I think the opal, I think the opal, sherbet opal or fantasy holographic or rainbow holographic. Which one do you think? I have... Sherbert Opal, Fantasy Holographic, or Orange Rainbow Holographic. I mean, I have Orange Glitter as well. The orange Glitter looks awesome. Like I said, I'm going to make a few of them, so I don't have a problem. Whatever you guys want. Um, yes, Taylor, our vinyl 100% works for the Brother Scan and Cut. Yes, it does. Fantasy. Let's roll. The most request I saw came through for the Fantasy Holographic. So the Fantasy Holographic has kind of the lines that go through it. Looks pretty awesome. So let's load this in. Now, again, this material is a little bit thinner. All right. So we're going to want to probably change our cut setting at least a little bit. I'm going to hit two for current position. 
bring it up to the top. Now I do have that little notch out of there, so I'm only going to be able to cut from here and then I will throw that extra into our scrap box, of course. So come back over to the software here. You're welcome, Taylor. No problem. And let's go booze, launch, cut plot CM4. I'm going to rotate this back and I'm going to do a force of, I can do a force of 14 and see what we get with this. And again, just checking to make sure it's not cutting all the way through. The, obviously, there's two things that can happen. Three things. It can either cut good, okay? It can cut all the way through, which is obviously bad because you're not going to be able, it's going to mess up. And as it's feeding, it's going to mess up as well. But then the other thing, if you don't have enough pressure when it, goes to the, when it comes to the weeding side of it, you're not going to be able to weed it. And you don't want to sit there... How many of you have sat there with an X-Acto knife before with adhesive vinyl and tried to trim areas that didn't cut good? Let me know. I want to know for real. Let me know. How many of you, an area that doesn't cut good, two or three areas that don't cut good on a cut that you do, you grab an X-Acto knife and you trim it up with the X-Acto knife to fix it. I've been there before, okay, I'm not going to lie. Here's the deal with that, though. Chances are you probably wasted more time and money by trimming with the X-Acto knife than recutting it and fixing your pressure. Does that make sense? Let me see here real quick. Yep, okay. I was just seeing what my design looked like as I'm weeding this here. Good there. And I, believe me, that happens a lot. Like, people will look at it and they'll be like, and I used to do this all the time as well. I'm going to save some vinyl, okay? I'm going to fix this. I know I can fix this. This machine isn't beating me. And they will literally, as I did before too, okay, I'm not, I'm not saying I didn't do this, but sit there for 10 minutes trying to fix it with an X-Acto knife where I could just add or put back in another 20 cents worth of vinyl, recut it with the right pressure, and weed it in a fraction of the time. So just know the difference between if it's worth it to do that, because honestly, a lot of times you're probably better off recutting another. Now, if it takes you 10 seconds to grab an X-Acto knife and trim off a little edge and it still looks perfect, 100% do that, right? But that's not always going to be the case. All right. So we got that, we got that, we got this. Let's go. Got my, I'm going to use, today I'm going to use my AT65, my six inch rolls. And then I need to come over here and grab my magic material. And who knows what my magic material is as I'm trying to find it over here. Who's with me? What's the magic material that I'm looking for right now? I know a lot of you know. The magic material is parchment paper. Parchment paper. And I'm assuming most of you here, most of you probably use the parchment paper, but probably not everybody, okay? So with the parchment paper, when I'm layering adhesive vinyl, okay, these two layers are not technically layered on top of each other, which is good because I'm going to start with the biggest piece, which is the black piece right here. Then I'm going to layer to the orange piece. Then I'm going to layer to 
my back piece, which is the reflective. All right, so let's go ahead and get it. And I shouldn't need my light board at all to do any of this right here. All right, so again, starting with my black piece here, let me get my squeegee, which is hiding under all of my vinyl here. Let's go ahead and roll this off. And that's good. And see how easy that released right there? Now I'm coming over to the orange. I'm going to just show, get my bling hair out of there. I'm going to have just a little bit of it exposed right there. And now what I'm able to do is I'm actually, and let me make sure you guys can all see here. I'm actually able to see through my material here. Now, sometimes if this piece is smaller, you might want to have another piece of parchment paper on the bottom so the crew doesn't stick to the table. Does that make sense? So I'm good there. Let's go ahead and get this lined up here. So I'm looking at the booze and the crew part. I'm looking at my basically my beers in there. And I'm just looking to get this lined up with all of those areas. So I think that looks good there. That looks good there. Again, I don't really have to worry as much about it sticking to itself or anything right now because I'm able to use these materials like this. So again, and I'll, I'll even pull it up just to show you again, because a lot of, I see some of you asking, I can see through this parchment paper. Okay. See the orange through it. So as I'm looking at it here, I can actually see right through this, but I can still move it around to make sure that everything is lining up good. That's, that is the key. That is the key to it, okay? So as I'm moving this around and getting all of this lined up, that all looks good there. And once I feel like I'm pretty good with it, then I'm going to actually drop it down. And you can see I just kind of formed a little bit of a hinge on the right side here. So squeegee my hinge down, lift this up, squeegee that down. Now what I'm going to do is release my orange and look how awesome the back of that orange looks with that holographic, right? Let's get my next layer, which is my reflective and do that same thing. So with the reflective, I'm just looking at the outline making sure that it's lined up good with the outline here. That looks good there. That looks good there. I'm going to drop that right side down again, lift this up, and to avoid bubbles, just squeegee it down like that right there. And now I have a three-color design. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? So, obviously, when applying this, I'm just going to trim my edge a little there. Let me grab my tumbler holder here. And I got my measurements on that side, so I'm going to split the difference. That's on the back. Again, I like to use my parchment paper for this part as well. And reason being is I know now that I can move it around. Because again, if you just eyeball it and you're a little bit off, you're going to have an issue. Using the parchment paper again, I can get everything lined up perfect, move it around like this. I can say, okay, that looks amazing right there. Drop that down. 
lift this up. And now to avoid bubbles, I'll show you from this side, I'm going to just work from the right to the left on applying this down. Once we're good with that, we can slowly peel our application tape off. And this app tape, I could definitely reuse as well. So I'm going to set this over there. And what do you guys think of our finished tumbler? Oh, I guess it's not a tumbler. This would be a water bottle, right? But again, this back is going to look so freaking awesome because it's the reflective adhesive vinyl. So with the reflective adhesive vinyl, as lights hit this at night, because you guys know, I mean, maybe you're bringing the kids trick-or-treating and around here that everybody goes to the neighborhood and most people are driving like a golf cart around or something or they're walking around with their kids and it's pretty crazy so you might have you might want to be hydrated and have some water in here uh, you might want to have a little extracurricular stuff in here as well like that's completely up to you if you're part of the booze crew you can have fun too just be careful be responsible right and there's our booze crew where are we at um let me see here we're at 183 i need to get to 200 live to give this away i need to get to 200 live to get this away where are we at let's get it we're at 183 live on youtube right now let's get to 200 so i can give this bad boy away and what i'm also going to do is I, I you know what i'll run through it again quick yeah i see some of you asking can you do the layering part again yeah give me a second hold on let me move you guys down a little bit here and let me get TikTok over here as well i'll make another one and then one of you will win just basically a decal to put on whatever you want okay That'll give you some time to get to our 200 as well. So, and I'll start it from scratch. So, application tape. I would recommend either the AT65 or our medium grid, gridded application tape. Either one you'll be fine with. So, app tape, trim that. First layer is going to be my black layer. Now, again, I could do the black or the orange as the first layer. It doesn't really matter. Um, the orange vinyl that I'm using here, this is the Fantasy. Fantasy, Color Spark Fantasy Orange Holographic. But I always like to use off the start. I prefer to use the larger one, but I'm going to use the smaller one this time just to show you that you can. Okay? So. I'm going to come here, squeegee my orange. Now, <clears throat> when you do the smaller one to start it off, it's not flash reflective. It's just Color Spark, um, our reflective adhesive vinyl. The flash reflective is the heat transfer vinyl. Uh, Matt, wouldn't it be fast to apply each layer directly to the mug bottle if you weren't making a sticker for... Um, Scott, no, honestly, here's what I would do, Scott, is it's really hard to apply good to a rounded tumbler. It's just really hard to do it, especially when there's small little areas like this right here where you have to get it perfect. And it's going to be more difficult with the, um, parchment paper doing it that way, but if I were doing this for some customers and I had to make five of them for the group, I would literally be layering all five of them at the same time and then just applying them to the tumbler. So I wouldn't do each decal individually like I'm doing right now. I would do five decals at a time, layer all five of them, layer all five of them, trim it off, and boom. But what I was going to say is when you do the smaller area, make sure you have enough room for the rest of the design as well. 
right? But Scott, you definitely could. I'm not saying you can't do it that way. My, in my, my opinion, my thought is it is a little bit more difficult to do it that way just for the fact of the rounded tumbler. makes it a little bit more difficult. So again, I have a little open area on the right-hand side here. Okay, lift this up, pull out my parchment paper. The vinyl doesn't stick to the parchment paper. Squeegee that down. Now, if I were, I could be done with this right now. If I were just putting this onto a, I don't know, a white tumbler or something. Because I don't necessarily have to have that white background. Does that make sense? However, even if I had a white background on the tumbler, I still would probably do this part just for the fact of it's going to look a lot cooler with the reflective as the light hits it, right? So again, I'm going to come here. I'm going to grab parchment paper and then let's drop this one down. And this is where it's super easy. A lot of people say, oh, I do that all the time and I just eyeball it. Believe me, I used to be that same way. The problem is when you just eyeball it, okay, eventually you're eyeballing it, you're going to mess up. And when you do mess up, you just messed up not only three cuts, but also three weeds and a lot of time right? But there we go. So we will give away just this sticker as well to somebody because this is going to be sweet. And then you can put it on whatever booze crew cup or tumbler or flask <laughs> or whatever you want, right? Sweet daddy. All right, let's head back over here. I'm going to bring you guys over here, TikTok. Let's go. And I am going to bring Instagram. Instagram, come on over. So everybody kind of has an idea, kind of has an idea on how to do this now. Hold on, Instagram. Hey, Instagram, there's my Starbucks. Let me flip you guys around Instagram. Boom. All right. So, this is the sticker right here. I'm going to give this away to somebody on... I'm going to give the sticker away on Instagram. Because Instagram, we got 150 of you on Instagram. Stickers going on Instagram... The water bottle is going to be given away on YouTube. And let me show you a few things as far as what we got going on here today as well. All right. So let me flip you guys around here Instagram real quick. YouTube, let me get you guys over to the screen camera. Oh, man, I'm going to be right on time again. Right at that hour, like I said. So, if you are on the website, because I see a lot of you guys asking, where do you get the design from? Okay, and like I said, I'm, I also attach the decal design. So, where you're going to get the design from is on the main page right down here. It's a Booze Crew design. It's $4. Okay, and you can see the shirt there and then obviously just samples on coffee mugs and stuff. So that's there for you guys. Anybody that's brand new here, just to let you know, every single day we have a free SVG design download on the website. So make sure to take advantage of that if you don't know about it, okay? Love to hustle design, love design. Hold on, let me overthink this. If you're going to be salty, bring the tequila. All these are free designs right now. So any of you guys that are brand new, every single day, 
We put a brand new SVG download file up there. It's available for 48 hours and then we're good to go. Okay. Now, here's the next thing. Okay. Here's the next thing. We also have, this is limited supply. Okay. And I also limited it to one per customer. So more people have the opportunity to get it. I just listed on the main page the mystery scrap pack, okay, for adhesive vinyl. It's only $12. I, I released it to the All-Star and Hall of Fame members probably about 45 minutes to an hour ago. We only have 151 of them available, okay? I'm telling you right now, we only have 151 available. Had I not limited it to one per customer, they would probably be sold out already. However, I wanted everybody to get the opportunity to get one. What is going to come in this mystery bundle? Okay, just to let you know, it is going to be, it's basically a scrap pack of adhesive vinyl. It will have about nine, I'm going to guesstimate around, and they're going to vary, about 9 inch to 10 inch, 9 inch to 12 inch, 8 inch to 12 inch sheets of adhesive vinyl. There's probably going to be around, not exactly, three to four sheets of opals, three to four sheets of either a glitter or a reflective, and then three to four sheets of permanent adhesive vinyl, and then about three sheets of application tape. All right? So the value that will be in each of them is probably going to be about $25 worth of adhesive vinyl. But again, what all of these are, are there pieces at the end of a roll that we cut off where it's not a full 12 by 12 sheet or pieces of we're doing a video at the warehouse or a training at the warehouse and we have extra pieces. Um, there may be some pieces that have like a little crease near the edge or a, a little mark on it or something like that. That's why it's discounted so much. But it's going to be a mixture of some different vinyl. So my guess, and I don't know this exactly, my guess is these will probably be sold out probably by tomorrow, maybe. I mean, it, honestly, they could be sold out in an hour. They could be sold out at the end of the day tomorrow. I don't know, but I can pretty much guarantee you they probably won't be around for the weekend. Okay, this is kind of a limited thing. We're going to do it every once in a while when we build up a bunch of extra material at the warehouse and get some different samples and different items for you guys at a great price. Got it? And yes, you can only get, the only reason, like I said, that they probably are not sold out right now is I did limit it to one per customer. Just because we only had 151 of them, I wanted 151 different people to have the opportunity to get it. Okay? Um, and then last but not least, you can see at the top of the YouTube screen, the 10% off adhesive vinyl that will go through tomorrow. It is YT for YouTube, YT Live CS for ColorSpark 10. And that is for all adhesive vinyl, ColorSpark adhesive vinyl and application tape will be 10% off for 24 hours. So like the Orange Fantasy that I used in this, will be 10% off. The white reflective will be 10% off. The matte black will be 10% off. All of that. Got it? And by the way, the mystery tumbler packs, I've seen a lot of you guys posting different ones, which is awesome. I, I think out of the 50 or so mystery tumblers that we did, I think we had... I'm going to guess around eight to ten of them were rhinestone, like almost full rhinestone tumblers or can coolers or so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Again, we're going to do different things. Um, had a couple people that 
that emailed and said, which again, I have absolutely no problem with. Had I known ahead of time, I definitely would have done it. But said something like, can you sign the Tumblr that you made? Which again, I have no problem doing that stuff. I freaking appreciate everything that you guys do. I think that the doing those tumblers and the giveaways and stuff like that is pretty cool because it's they're all stuff that we all made together, right? So I think they are pretty cool. Obviously, they're probably worth way more than what we're selling them for, but I figured you guys could either use them, you can use them as samples, you can use them as whatever, you can use them as tumblers and drinks. But hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and we're going to be doing that more and more and I'm going to start, I already have like eight tumblers built up again already from recent lives. So once we get up to about 50 or so again, I'll probably do the same thing and we'll do another kind of tumbler thing. And I also ordered a bunch of tumblers from Save a Cup to possibly, because we talked about this before, possibly make some type of like project kits where you get the vinyl that you need, you get the tumbler that you need, and then you can make the actual tumbler or whatever you want with it. So I think those will be pretty cool as well. Those are still in the works and I do have the tumblers ordered already. So that is the thing. Um, how much would I sell this sticker to a customer for? It really depends because of it's three color. So it's got some work that went into it. Okay. So if someone wanted just one of these, I'm going to guesstimate that I probably have, I'm going to say 50 to 65 cents in cost because it's the reflective material is a little more expensive. The matte black, super inexpensive. And the, the fantasy is a little more expensive. So I'm going to say 50 to 65 cents in material cost, depending on how much you buy at a time, right? And I wouldn't sell this for less than probably $7 to $7.50, okay? Here's the way that I price everything, just to kind of give you guys a hint, all right? Just to kind of give you a hint. The way that I price everything is I always, and this is, I think a good kind of thing to think about when you're pricing stuff. I always, okay, it is still inexpensive, yes. But remember, it's only three and a half inches. So it's not a large decal. So minimum, like I said, seven to 750. But I like to always think about what if they asked for 30 of them? What if they asked for 50 of them? So what I would probably do is I would say, boom, this is $10, but if you order five of them, now they're down to $7, 25 or 20 and above, now they're $5 each. Because if you think about it, the time involved, the time involved in actually making three of them versus one of them, the time difference is very minimal right? Because I would cut all three black, cut all three orange, cut all three white, layer them all at the same time. And that would literally take, other than the extra weeding, the layering part would take the exact same to do three of them as it would one of them. So what you don't want to do is price this too low and say, I'll do this for five bucks. And then they say, okay, well, I want 50 of them. How much can you do them for then? When $5 is basically your bottom line price. Make sense? Sweet. All right. So this one right here, you know what I'm going to price it for? I'm going to price this for exactly $0 because I'm going to give it away right now. We're giving this one away on Instagram. Here we go. Scrolling through Instagram comments and our winner for the Booze Crew sticker Okay, not the Tumblr, but the Booze Cruise sticker is this person right. Uh, why are you not reading my. I'm trying. It looks like we got some spammers over here on Instagram as well. What's going on, Instagram? Boom. I got Scran MP, S C R A N M P, Scran MP. You are the winner for the Booze Crew decal. Let's go. 
And now on YouTube, it'll ship with your next order that requires shipping. We got the Booze Crew water bottle. Booze Crew water bottle. And the winner on YouTube for the Booze Crew water bottle is this person right... Do, 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 do. I'm just scrolling through and I'm just going to randomly randomly pick somebody here and our winner is I'm, I'm trying to pronounce her Shirley Lukzak Shirley, did I get that right? Shirley Lukzak L-U-C-Z-A-K. Shirley Lukzak. You are the winner. Oh, sorry there, TikTok. Put the tumbler right in front of you. Um, Shirley, you are the winner for the Booze Crew water bottle. Let's go. I got to write your name down. Shirley Lukzak. Water bottle. Let's go. All right. That's it. Hey, as always, appreciate all of you guys taking time out of your day to come hang out with me today. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Hopefully, you learned something new. Again, that 10% off coupon code is available for the next 24 hours. 10% off coupon code available for the next 24 hours on the website. It is YT Live CS10. And if you don't know it, if you can't see it, head over to the YouTube channel and you'll see it on the replay as well. Um, also, the mystery adhesive scrap packs. I'm going to see where we're at right now. I'll tell you, I'm going to let you know exactly how many we have left. We only have about, we're, we're about halfway through them already. We're about halfway through them already. So, obviously, they're going to sell quicker during the live as everybody learns about them. But as soon as we send out, we haven't even sent out an email about them or put them all over social media yet. So, as soon as that happens, they'll probably, obviously, go a lot quicker. So, if you want yours, grab it now. And then you got the 10% off as well. All right, TikTok, appreciate all you guys. I'm out. Later. Instagram, thank you so much for coming by. Appreciate all your support. We'll see you guys soon. Later. And YouTube, you guys are freaking awesome. Um, Hall of Fame, I will be putting the time up for the Hall of Fame training. It will be tomorrow. Again, just got to find out Jackson's practice time, and I'll get it up here later tonight. Okay? All right. Appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. YouTube, I will see you guys soon. Later, crew.